Every time there's a big sporting competition, we stare in wonderment at the athletes breaking records. But is there actually a limit to how fast humans can go? Usain Bolt is the fastest human ever recorded in a race, covering 100 meters in a little over nine and a half seconds. That gives him an average speed of around 37 kilometers an hour. You may have thought that we might be reaching a limit of human speed, as our bodies may not be able to take any higher impact forces through our legs. But research found that hopping on one leg increased these forces by 30% more than sprinting, which goes to show our bodies can take more. Instead, researchers think that our speed is limited by how fast our muscles can contract and exert force during the extremely small amount of time our foot is on the ground, which is less than one tenth of a second. During that short time, the muscle needs to exert as much force as it can to propel someone forward. Looking at human physiology, they estimate humans might be capable of running over 60 kilometers an hour. Well, can humans really run 25 k's an hour faster than the current world record? Well, humans are thought to have already run faster than Bolt. Fossilised footprints found in Australia show an ancient indigenous man running. When they were measured, it was calculated that he was running at around 37 kilometres an hour. So what? That's the same speed as Bolt. But keep in mind, this man was probably running through mud, if not water. Give him modern shoes and a hard surface, and it's likely he would have run around 45 k's an hour. Incredibly, in the same group of footprints was a one-legged man hopping at over 20 kilometres an hour. Try doing that. That's fast, but not as fast as our four fast facts. Usain Bolt's power output during a sprint is around three and a half horsepower. 92% of Bolt's power is used to overcome aerodynamic drag. Only 8% is responsible for his speed. One characteristic of sprinters is short tendons and long toes which are thought to improve the effect of the calf muscles. And swinging your arms when you run reduces energy expenditure by up to 13% compared to holding them still. If you're not in a rush, check out our website where we have some links about the limits of human speed. And we'll catch you right back here next week.